Just two to go. Rogue. The rogue card is the 4454 four, Tomb Pillager. Death Rattle. Add a coin to your hand. Let's give it a go. We're facing off against Skelosaurus Hex. <laughs> Hmm. Tempted to hold on to it all. Yeah, I, I don't know what I would throw away there, really. I mean, we've got no turn one play, but there's no guarantee there is even a turn one play in this deck. I like the toad. And also, oh, there you go. There's another cool thing to <laughs> Oh, what? It's a bit lame. Honestly, that could, that's a good toad target, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if, if he trades off with the questing adventurer, then that's cool too. Yeah. I think we combo in, into the weapon. Yeah, yeah. Well, we will definitely be able to. We've got <laughs> three minions. Not in one face. Sure thing, but he... Um, alright, backstab the toad. Yep. And then blade the mini mage. You might as well heal. That questing adventure has just made this oh, joke. Yeah. <laughs> Three cards plus questing adventurer. That's yes, GP. <laughs> This is the problem I had with. Oh, uh, he's gonna silence it. No. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. It's not over yet. Yes. Warhorse trainer is pretty terrible, but you know, three <laughs> million, whatever. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let's play the new card. Uh. Do you want to just leave it on the board? And yeah, keep... I think so. Keep going. It's just gonna come back, so. Ancient Mage, okay. <laughs> oh, you went face with it too. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Seven and five's twelve, so he's dead. That's the Cool. He'd be done. One to go. Tomb Pillager, you didn't really get a chance to shine. <laughs> and the mage challenge is against the Steel Sentinel, and nope. it unlocks the mini version of him, the 4 for a 4 4 hero can only take one damage at a time. Yeah. And I think that's a pretty cool card. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's definitely going to work its way into the Frost Mage decks. They don't need more help. <laughs> they really don't. <laughs> Can you imagine having him on the board into Reno Jackson? And it's just like, yeah, uh, uh, I have 30 life and you can only do one at, that, one at a time now. Yeah, well, you know, somehow I get a wee spell mage onto him too. So you can't target him with spells. Yeah, I'm gonna take that mana bomber. Uh, chuck the mana bomber and keep that yep. too. It seems pretty good. I don't really have anything to combo with Flame Waker at this point, but... Is this actually just going to be like a Frost Mage deck? No, it's going to be a Tempo Mage. You deal one damage out all the time. Can't imagine. I think we just put the Snow Chugger on the board and... Keep on, keep it on. Um. Uh. That seems really bad. <laughs> Especially with that. Oh, I'm smooth yeah. out. Yeah. Do you just want I'd... to ping off the one one? Yeah, ping off the one one, and then hit face, so he can't swing a weapon at us. And then we can blast mage next turn. Yeah. 
Oh, no, we can't. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, well... Double man bomber? <laughs> <laughs> it seems such a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. Leap faster, yeah. Yay! Success! It's so hard for ourselves. Uh, oh. Alright, that's <laughs> too badly actually. That's that's probably close to oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this does actually seem like it's gonna be something of a challenge. Um Add a bomber? Yeah, it's gonna be a pain, but I think we'll just go for it. He's gonna gain as much health as he loses. Unless we don't hit the armor smith. <laughs> we just need to get that armor smith off the board. Treading this water. is down so much. Oh, that's not cool either. Well, better now than at the end. Yeah, he's only gonna get three life out of it. Do we even have any taunts in our deck? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Um, Flame Waker into Arcane Missiles. No, I wanna... Ping first? I'd be more interested in putting the Mechanical Yeti on the board, so I would probably be pinging the Armorsmith, trading the 5-5 playing the Yeti. Because then when we trade the Yeti off, we get another... Yeah, playing with the Pokemon. Yeah. And we can probably Blast Mage next turn. Assuming he doesn't have... Well, I was gonna say a 5 attack. <laughs> <Charge menu. laughs> um, we don't really want to Blast Mage into that anyway. Um, well it's 4 damage out, plus we've got ping, so it's not, not a bad target. Oh, ping them boss mage, yeah. And... No? Yes. Yeah. Alright, we're ready. We're finally ready to take you on. We got some steam. Oh. Okay, this looks like it's going to be the Flame Waker turn. Oh yeah. I don't know if I just play Ronin. Either or, I think it's much of a... It depends whether you want to clear the board or whether you just want to... I'm trying to decide if I want to, um... If I ping, then lose the Clockwork Gnome, we can Flame Waker and Arcane Missiles, and then do another thing. Three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. It's all sort of the same... jig. Yeah, I... I mean, the Flame Waker is good at clearing the board, but also is doing one damage at a time, so we don't lose value from playing that. Yeah. Um, I guess I have to freeze a minute first. <laughs> and then deal two damage to the base. Yep. <laughs> Here he comes. He's not gonna enjoy that flame boy. I reckon. No. He's gonna get rid of that. Yep. That's okay. Right? Yeah, I think it's just right. Yeah, the flame worker would have been nice. Um, I can run an end gnome here, so. Mm. Uh, Um, I'm gonna kill this with the Blast Mage, so that it's yeah. the um, Yeti isn't in true silver range. I understand. Just explaining what happens. Haha. <laughs> cleave, cleave. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. I mean, the Divine Shield, not that big of a deal. Torn, that is. <laughs> Okay. We draw another no! flame. <laughs> um, do we just want to trade Ronin in? Like, uh, yeah, I guess. We get the three arcane missiles. For when we next get Flame Waker. Well, even if we just need to spam him on his face, kind of thing. Hmm. Do you want to play Noyatron or Mechwalker? I don't know, Mechwalker or Noyatron. And I'm going to Rusty Horn. 
No, actually, I'm not gonna in case we get a second one. Fine, let's go. Swing into the minion! Hello, hello, hello! Yep, that seems alright. When a minion attacks your hero, destroy it. Or do we want to go? Fireball. <laughs> Fireball. Um, Fireball takes for one damage. King and swing. King and swing. I mean, we can drop all the arcane missiles. That's nine damage to his face. Yeah. It's, you know, getting closer. Do you want to do that this turn? No, not this turn. She starts playing minions, so. Comes a bit like that. Anyway. That's okay. Okay, why did you do that like that? <laughs> Terrible AI. Uh, that doesn't help. Oh. Okay. Yeah, two, three minions. He's down to 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then when <laughs> he swings, he dies. So, yeah, I'm just Do it! And then we have to sit through the god awful long animation. <laughs> Kill yourself on my minion. You won't. You probably not. He's passed. <laughs> <laughs> See ya! Cool. And that's it. That's the end of the League of Explorers, like, at least in normal mode. So, Yeah. I guess uh, thanks everyone for joining us and uh, hope you've enjoyed the League of Explorers too. Um, if you haven't had a chance to get through it. Uh, um, interesting combat, I thought. Some interesting mm -hmm. ones. I, I really liked the, the big trick. I mean, we should have noticed. <laughs> like, because you kind yes. of like, oh, is that the deck you're going to use, huh? Um, so, but yeah, I was d totally didn't even know that was happening, so... Well, here's, you know, the Arc Thief. So, yeah. they had to have him steal your deck, really, if you think yeah. about it. Shouldn't have been surprising. No. <laughs> but, uh... I appreciated it, so anyway. Yeah. That's so it. your favourite... What was your favourite, um... Of all of the fights? Let's Which one? I'll have to remind myself. Uh, My favorite was um, the Naga Sea Witch. That was a pretty good fight, Lady in his jar. I don't know. I, I don't, don't do that. Um, <laughs> look, I, I enjoyed the Rafam fight because, you know, I, I, I like both of his fights. They were yeah. kind of actually somewhat challenging. Um, we, we played terribly against the Steel Sentinel. <laughs> we just chose the wrong deck. Whatever. <laughs> Um, but, uh, look, I don't know, uh, yeah, it was, the, the Arch Thief for me was really, really good, but, uh, I, I don't know, if I wasn't really a fan of either the Temple Escape or Minecart Rush, I thought they were interesting at first, but, yeah, back on it, it was just, it was quite simple, and, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't as engaging as you'd hope, yeah, it sounds the, interesting, but, yeah. yeah, they were nice as something different, but, I'm glad that they were out of the way early because yeah. I wanna like if one of those was in the last four, would have been a bit of a disappointment. They are really cool, you know, as one offs, but yeah. I think my favorite is Lady Nazjar. And um, probably the last Arc Thief fight. He was pretty rad. Yeah, well I mean he was summoning Lady Nazjar as well, so <laughs> there's a theme there. <laughs> I got a thing for ladies with snakes on their heads. <laughs> anyway. Oh yeah, let's let's wrap this up, guys. Uh, hopefully, we'll find out soon what's next for Hearthstone, and and we'll definitely be there and uh, checking it out.